Hi guys, good morning. We are doing something fun today. We're going to the Schoenbrunn Palace. We're probably butchering the name, of course, because I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but that's okay. It's a very famous palace here in Vienna. Very big, very beautiful. Right now, we're currently inside of the ticket office. We're in line right now to buy tickets. They have like little ticket machines that you can use, but it seems like you can only buy certain tickets there. So right now, we're waiting in line to potentially just buy the regular tickets. We don't need like an audio guide or anything like that. We're just gonna walk through it and look at the palace. So far, it looks really beautiful. I'm excited to see what's inside. All right, you guys, so basically we went to buy our tickets, but apparently you can't just go in right away. They like assign you a time to go into the palace. So we have to wait two hours before going in. My recommendation for you guys is to buy your tickets online because then at least I think they'll give you a time slot and then that way you can come directly when it's your time because if not, you might be wasting some time like we are right now. So I think we're gonna go check out some park area that they have here and then maybe go grab a coffee or juice or something while we wait. But basically we have to just kind of hang around here which is slightly unfortunate but it is very pretty so that's good it's also very bright that's why I'm holding this thing up to my face all right let's explore So we're currently just killing some time here at the palace. It is so beautiful here. Look at all these beautiful green trees. The air feels so fresh. It's actually raining a little bit. We're just gonna walk around. I'm very thirsty, so I'm thinking maybe we can find something to drink. And yeah, then we just have to wait a few more hours until we can actually go inside the palace. But yeah, it's very, very beautiful. Loving it so far. just left the palace and you guys it was so so beautiful I highly highly recommend that you guys come and visit I wasn't able to film in there you're not allowed to film or take any pictures but it was really amazing you basically go on a guided tour you learn the history and you see artwork and you see how they live where they live I found it really amazing it cost us 26 euros to go on this tour and we did like a little bit of a longer tour I think you see like 40 rooms and there's like a little bit of a shorter tour that I think costs like 21 euros or 22 euros so we did one above that yeah there's a lot to see here you could probably very easily 
spend the whole day here. There's different museums throughout this whole estate and many, many things to see. So if you really like museums, if you really like history, you can spend a lot of time here. You can see a lot of things. Like I mentioned earlier, I would recommend that you guys buy the tickets online before. It saves you time in line and then you probably get a time slot prior so that way you know exactly when to come in. So yeah, loved it, loved it. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. Now I think we're gonna be heading to the Belvedere. I don't know if it's like a museum or a castle, but that's where we're going. Let's go. Morning, you guys today we're doing something really fun we're going to another area of Austria called Salzburg which is where Mozart was born and where he lived with his family it takes about three hours to go in Salzburg there's a lot to do there's the sound of music museum there's a Christmas museum I'm very excited also since I'm here I might as well just share with you guys my thoughts of Vienna so far first of all I can't say one bad thing. Vienna is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's something amazing to see. There are beautiful sculptures and statues and monuments and castles and palaces and just beautiful things all over the place. Yesterday we went to the Belvedere Gardens. We didn't go inside the actual palace, but we went to the gardens and they were spectacular. So far, Austria, you are just showing off because Everything is beautiful. Right now, it is a little bit cold. So we came from the desert, we came from Jordan, then we went to Turkey. So it's been a bit of like a temperature shock for us because now it's like literally freezing outside and it's raining, but it's beautiful. It's like a nice change of pace. So I'm really excited to take you guys with me to Salzburg. We're gonna go discover it together and we're gonna go see where Mozart was born, where he lived, and we're gonna go discover what else Salzburg has to offer. Let's go. So we are now in the train station. We came by the fast train and now we're gonna take another train. So we're at the station now. It is pretty chilly today. It is very windy. Que quieres ver ahí en Salzburg? Quiero ver el lugar donde se filmó Son of the Music y también la casa de Mozart y el parque de la Navidad. Vamos a ver todo eso. Mm -hmm. Ya nos vemos muy felices. en Salzburg. Bye.
have officially made it to Salzburg and it is absolutely beautiful. The ride up here on the train was so beautiful. You could see the beautiful landscapes, the green trees. There's like a river or something. I think it was a river. It was so, so beautiful coming in here. I could have been on that train for like 10 hours and would have not cared at all because the scenery is so nice. But now we're here, we're right in front of the Salzburg Museum. I'm in love with this place. If you guys get a chance to come here and visit, I highly recommend it because it is so beautiful. It is so green, there's beautiful rivers, the architecture is beautiful, the city's beautiful, there's beautiful flowers. I'm obsessed with Salzburg. I'm literally right in front of the statue of Mozart, right over there, you see him? And then we're right here in this little square where there's a church too. The church is right over there. I'm in love. I'm in love with this place. All right, let's go maybe find something to eat and then we're gonna go to different museums. We have to take the train back in the afternoon so we have to kind of hurry, but I think we can do it. We have planned to go to the Mozart Museum, Christmas Museum, and then I think one more. So anyways, we bought this pass that gives us access to all the museums, so we'll try to do as much as we can. Okay, so we're gonna eat lunch now. We're gonna eat at Salzburger. Not even gonna pronounce the rest of the name. But we're gonna have traditional sausages from Salzburg and bread, and I got some orange juice and I got an apple strudel, so that sounds amazing for me. Hello. Okay, we have just entered the Christmas Museum. Let's see how this looks. I'm very excited. Oh, Santa Claus is here. of Mozart's birthplace, which is in this yellow building here. We're gonna go into the museum right now and see more about this place, but it's pretty epic. Thank you. 
you guys I am in love with Salzburg it is absolutely stunning we actually only made it to one museum the Mozart Museum but just walking around here and seeing everything the beautiful parks the beautiful buildings the beautiful river it is absolutely breathtaking so if you guys come to Austria do not miss out on Salzburg I highly recommend that you guys at least spend minimum a day but I think you probably okay. need like two two solid days. I wish I had known that before coming and I would have stayed here at least two days. Unfortunately, we only picked one day to be here, but I would recommend that if you guys come and visit, definitely go visit Vienna, but also you have to come visit here because it is well worth it. Lots of beautiful museums. There's the Sound of Music Museum. There's the Mozart's Museums. There's uh, a lot of other museums, a lot of things to see beautiful landscapes amazing so highly recommend that you guys come here